Okay, it's Beer O'Clock on Real Out Craft Beer. I'm joined by Chris Rowlands. Give me a hug. Hello. Um, we've just been judging the Champion Beer of Wales. David. Tidwell's Brewery, North Wales. Lang... Langos. Langos, there we go. Uh, what, Langos. what beers do you produce, David? Uh, currently, we've got uh, the Geneva Porter and uh, Indian Pale Ale. Uh, and also the Drusseline Best Bitter. Okay. Excellent, excellent. We are reviewing uh, Champion Beer of Wales. It's by Vela Glamorgan Brewery. It is. And it's called? Uh, Dark Matter. Dark Matter. Cheers. Yachida. So, Cheers, Yachida. Appearance. What does the beer look like in the glass? Well, it definitely looks dark. I yeah. Mean, yes. It lives up to his namesake. Jeff Black, nice head retention. Bear in mind, this beer has been sitting on our table for about 15 minutes, so the head retention is great. Uh, nice levels of carbonation. Aroma, let's get the aroma. It's fruity, it's chocolatey. What do you get, David? I get a slight hint of coffee coming in there as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Chris, what are you getting? You're led by that dark malt, but it has got a nice fruity note for just kind of lingers you in straight away before you even taste it you're thinking mm, sweetness um, yeah yeah and a slight hint of licorice as well right? yes absolutely absolutely let's dive in lads cheers cheers look it up for me the beer leads with the body it's got a great body it's a medium body about uh, body mouthfeel slight bit of vanilla in there yeah it's chocolate. Full, it's rich. It's got that fruity overtones throughout, yeah. but it's not so fruity as to be cloying or overbearing. It's it's no. quite a well balanced between the dark malts, the subtle hit and bit bitterness, but not a massive bitterness. Mainly led by the fruit and the malts, and yeah, I think it's just very well balanced. Port. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'll, I'll, what you pick up in the taste? Again, very well balanced, and I think it, you've got that hint of. Coffee, fruit, yeah. slightly licorice, and a lovely dry finish then around it all. Beautiful, lovely mouthfeel. Great. Mr. Cameraman, the old Goodman, started his own channel on YouTube. You won't be able to see him drinking it, but give that a taste. Give us a quick description of what, of, of what you're getting. For me, what I get on that is a lingering aftertaste on that. That's sticking in the mouthfeel. Yeah. <laughs> lovely, yeah. lovely beer. Thank you, Neil, for, for filming. Um, rating, Chris, give it a rating. We, we've just judged it as champion we, we've, beer. We've just judged. I think I think I came in at a strong nine and a half out of ten. It yeah. was it was very very high up there. Mm. It won hands down between all five of us. It came out as a, a clear winner. Yeah, nine and a half out of ten. I'll join Chris on that rating out of ten. I think I'll go with nine and a half as well. Nine out of ten. Uh, thanks for joining me. Check out Tidwell's Brewery, David. Um, check out his beers. Check out Chris at the City Arms in Cardiff. Thanks for watching me. Please subscribe and cheers.